Hey, good afternoon, traders. Good afternoon. My name is Raul Rivera. I'm the founder of TheMarketProfile.com. Today is August uh, 23rd, 2017. Let's get started with today's trading. And uh, we're going to keep it nice and short today. Uh, really not much to talk about. The trades were, uh, there weren't really that many. Uh, the indices didn't do much all day long. Uh, they actually just consolidated and um, you know, we made the lows of the day in the morning and um, we just uh, consolidated around uh, the lows, uh, pretty much where we distributed for most of the session. Taking a look here at the S&P 500 uh, early this morning, I figured, uh, you know, let's uh, break up some of these profiles uh, here, for example, you know, with a simple click of a button, we can um, split the distributions into their singular distribution forms. And after we do all the splits, we find areas of value that are um, above the current market price or above the uh, profile, uh, the current profile's uh, range. And uh, we saw we had an area of interest over here around 61 to 63. Um, obviously, the market uh, found a tough time buying today. It was mostly selling. We can see that at the uh, at the end of the day here we had negative thirty three thousand in balance and simply what this means what this information tells me is that there was a larger amount of sellers than buyers um, and that's important because it shows us you know true volume sentiment uh, based on actual executed orders uh, there are many other sentiment scanners out there most of them just use social media and what people are talking about. On social media specific ticker symbols and things like that and you know that may be fine and dandy and everything but you know a social media post on futures contracts or a stock uh, don't doesn't really show me true sentiment it just shows me what people are talking about uh, when we take a look at actual live executed volume you know people putting their money where their mouth is uh, I think this is where how we can use it to find true sentiment in the market. Obviously today, more sellers than buyers. Um, we opened right there, uh, pretty much at the highest overnight, traded lower, consolidated. This is a B-shaped distribution. Almost an inside day, but there was uh, at least a couple of ticks that we did trade above uh, yesterday's range. Uh, the reason for the selling today, they are attributing it to uh, Donald Trump's comments on, you know, him willing to shut down the government just to build his wall. Now, um, Wall Street doesn't like that. Government shutdowns usually tend to bring about volatility and more reason to sell. And, uh, you know, we're not out of the woods just yet. Um, there's still a lot of uh, political tension out there. They, you know, North Korea is kind of in the background. Nobody really cares anymore since they haven't launched any missiles. But, um, you know, that's another... Um, geopolitical concern in the market that could certainly increase volatility. I mean, we saw what it did uh, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we saw the VIX trade as high as close to 17. Um, I think we got as high as 1650 or something like that. But, um, you know, that's an unresolved case. And in the S&P 500, uh, we were looking along uh, 30 to 32 short, 60 to 63. The market didn't do anything. We didn't get our fills. In fact, let me just cancel these orders. You know, why have them sit out? You know, God forbid I forget about it. I get filled overnight and I don't even know. Okay, um, so that's that in the S&P 500 here in crude oil. Um, only had one trade. Successful trade. Um, but it seems as though, you know, the volatility that we used to get from... The crude oil inventory report seems to have died for some reason. You know, we'll just have to keep trying every Wednesday and see when it comes back. Uh, so early this morning, we didn't have prices trading up here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and split it so we can see the two distributions that are in today's profile. Today we have a D followed by a P. So we started off consolidating and then uh, finished rallying to the upside. Right, this a P-shaped distribution is a trending up pattern. Uh, so after all the splits are said and done, uh, we were looking to, and here you can see, you know, some of the splits I did this morning. Uh, so I found value uh, here and here, two uh, specific different times, uh, but 
obviously value was created at that level. We, we can see a TPO value area and a volume profile value area all in the same area. Um, saying the word area a lot, but that's what they are. They're value areas. This is where value is created. This is where prices are going to more than likely react. And uh, it did here. So, um, you know, shorted two contracts out of three. We didn't quite make it to my final uh, contract at the highs. Uh, took the trade off for five ticks. As you can see, all we did was really distribute around about a 10 to 12 tick range once we made these highs. So, uh, nobody was really looking to sell the 20 lots and greater it did sell but mostly because they were getting long since uh, early in the morning and um, probably taking profits at the highs but again you know using the the market profile we're able to find these areas of value that otherwise we probably would find pretty hard to locate um, if I show you guys in hybrid view and if I were to take away the um the profile in the background and just have candlesticks you know everybody would have a hard time saying hey there's uh resistance here um maybe over here would have been easier because we did make a, a pivot high um you know what makes support here i mean i wasn't looking at the candlesticks at all but you can see you know a couple of areas i marked from previous days did act as support there uh resistance here and um uh, we were looking to get short 48, uh, pretty much 48 to 4810. I had an order of 4808. Um, just prior to the number, I actually raised that to 4812. And I did that solely because we were trading uh, right up here around the 4890 area, uh, just prior to the number. And I figured, you know what, if the number comes out and it's good, uh, let me just lift my order up a little bit because you know, 90 to 4808 is literally only 18 ticks. Usually we get a, a reaction of, you know, 20, 30, 40 ticks at a time uh, as soon as the number comes out. But then again, like I said, this is pretty much the fourth straight week um, that we really haven't done much straight out of the number. It's always the aftermath of the number that uh, creates uh, a trend either to the upside or to the downside. Uh, so we had a an inventory draw in gasoline prices, and we also had an inventory draw in crude oil prices. But the draw in crude oil wasn't as big as expected, so people took that as negative at first. But then, hey, a draw is a draw, and prices should continue to go higher. You know, that's not good for us uh, trying to go to the pump tomorrow to fill up our gas tanks. But it's um, good for uh, the crude oil bulls and people who are long uh, the crude oil market and here as you can see uh, definitely calling the top on the market successfully but uh, oh like I said sorry got a little carried away here but uh, we were trying to short here um, 10 to tw uh, 10, uh, 48 to 48 10 trying to get long uh, 20 to 20 uh, 20 to 30 pretty much obviously didn't sell off but this pink area we highlighted in pink simply because I was really looking for the reaction. Okay, as soon as the number comes out, I wanted to go in there, and it did. Um, Forty-eight oh eight was actually absolutely perfect. Traded as low as um, 40, uh, 47 sixty, I believe, at the lows around forty-seven sixty. So that could have been a, a fantastic trade over forty ticks. Profit could have been made, and in any given one of these trades we always take a look at making 40 to 120 ticks and this can be achieved within 30 seconds <laughs> 30 seconds to 10 minutes it can be achieved within 30 seconds or 10 minutes this is why I like to bracket the market every single time we have the crude oil inventory number but again today was just like the past three weeks you know it seems like uh, things are going against me this month and uh, you know, the crude oil inventory report happens to be one of these things. Ever since August, uh, we haven't had any real reaction to the crude oil inventory. Usually, the volatility spike in crude oil is good enough to make some money off of, but it seems like it's always the, you know, after the 10.30 a.m. hour where uh, crude oil decides to 
do its own thing. And uh, I try to take advantage of the quick volatility move. Um, haven't had it in four weeks now. Okay, uh, looking at gold. Again, gold, another snooze uh, type of day. Um, it was an inside day, very tight, very weird D-shaped distribution. I mean, but we didn't do much at all. Uh, we couldn't even apply the inside day strategy. Um, you know, you could have tried it all the way up here, but this was uh, very early in the morning. I wasn't looking to trade uh, that early in the morning. But when we take a look at the profile, um, you know, inside day, we were trying to get long just below uh, the lows of the day, just above the highs of the day. Uh, this is probably the third day in a row we tried to sell uh, 1299 to 1301. And um, not sure, but maybe this is the second day in a row uh, we were trying to buy eight, um, 8750 to 86. Uh, yesterday that trade was successful. The 1300 trade, uh, 1299, 1300 the other day was successful. And the market seems to be just, uh, you know, ping pong uh, back and forth uh, around 1290 and 1300 though. The low end of that range is where we've been uh, trading the most. Uh, anything above 1299 or getting anywhere near close 1299 uh, very quickly gets sold. I mean, we can see that right there. Uh, we can see it right here. And uh, we didn't quite see it over here because we never really traded at the highs, uh, only very early this morning. So again, you know, it seems as though it wasn't just the indices that were trading sideways uh, the entire session. It also happens to be um, the commodities and uh, the only market that did rally was the 30-year bond but it took all day to do so um, taking a look at the 30-year bond this one's been in an inside day after an inside day after an inside day it's almost like one of those Russian uh, nesting dolls where you know you, you open up the doll and there's a smaller one inside of it and then a smaller one inside of the other one and then so on and so forth uh, you know here we had an inside day, right? This one was trading inside this one. Okay, this one was trading inside this one. So this is where it sort of resembles that doll. And then today we finally, uh, very early in the session, uh, got out of this bad habit of just inside day after inside day after inside day and decided to trend. So uh, here's where we opened around 150. 521 if I go ahead and just split the profile we can see that uh, we started as a consolidation pattern here d-shaped distribution um, ended up trading higher that's a P right there so D followed by a P this is a trending pattern right D plus P that is a trending pattern uh, the idea is to find a place to buy it of course um, trying to buy it using areas of value on the market profile becomes a little bit tough um, so we tried uh, a trend trade, switching over to hybrid view, and the place to buy it was VWAP right here. Uh, obviously, VWAP is lower um, earlier in the session as prices were trading lower. As prices trade higher, the VWAP also goes higher with it. It's pretty much like a moving average, but what it is, it's really the mean Right? We've all taken algebra in high school. We all know about mean, median, and mode. Well, this happens to be the mean of the standard deviation of volume. Um, TWAP, very hard to see. I, I should change the color to make it more legible. I mean, to me, it looks good. I'm sure that um, through a streaming, you know, streaming to you guys, it might be a little bit difficult to see. So I gotta just work on that. You know, make it a little more visible. But that would be TWAP, which is the Time weighted average price, which is the mean of a market profile, which is a standard deviation of time uh, during a 30 minute period, right? 30 minute TPL. Uh, so that was the area to buy uh, VWAP. Of course, uh, you know, I don't, I decided, you know, with, with the month that I'm having, I'm not going to take risky trades. And uh, the VWAP and TWAP trade uh, does provide a, a little bit of risk and uh, simply because it's a 60 40 proposition, right? 60% of the time it'll work, the other 40% it won't. 
right? The other 40% will stop you out. And, uh, you know, this 40% is too high, right? 40% is too high. So if you're going to be risking uh, knowing, you know, your money, knowing that uh, you have 40% chance of losing, you know, it's always best to always keep, uh, you know, these types of trades with very little leverage. That way, if it works, you know, you, you're not going to complain about a few hundred bucks in your pocket, but if it goes against you, uh, you're not going to, you know, the account isn't going to be suffering too much. So, uh, for about one, two, three days in a row, today you can make it a fourth. I tried buying 155.11 to 07, 155.07 to 155.11, the value area low of this profile here, this rally that started this consolidation and, you know, unsuccessful all four days. And that's the only, really the only place I'd be looking to buy. I'm not really looking forward to buying it anywhere else. So keeping it short and simple today, just going over four contracts, S&P, crude, gold, and the 30 year, those are usually the most popular contracts that um, I cover and trade. Um, I like to invite you guys to the live trading room, uh, 14 day free trial. Uh, all you gotta do is just swing by the website, www.themarketprofile.com. You can watch me trade these markets real time and um, manage them also in real time. Ask me any questions directly and um, pretty much, uh, you know, have a 14-day free trial to learn and see if this is a good fit for you. Um, other than that, if you like this video on Facebook Live, make sure you guys click like. And if you guys have any questions, please uh, leave us a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And um, other than that, I hope everybody has a great day. Again, the website's www.themarketprofile.com. You can find it on the description of this video. All righty, guys. I uh, hope everybody has a great trading day tomorrow, and I will see you guys uh, tomorrow afternoon. Thanks, everyone.